Hey, what's up? Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Holidays are coming up. Welcome to the Rugged Strong Channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Today I'm going to teach you how to make prison tamales. First thing we need is garbage bags. This is actually going to be the outer layer of the tamal. Just like in the world they use the uh, leaves, we're going to use bags. We need gloves. Keep our hands clean. You know, there's a lot of nasty motherfuckers in there, so you got to keep your hands clean. Butter. Razor blades, and I'll let you know why later. Tuna, just in case we can't get enough chicken from the kitchen because in there you have to buy the chicken from the kitchen and sometimes it's kind of hard to get it so we might just throw tuna in there. We got the Fritos, that's going to be the masa and we got the water that we're going to boil. Alright guys, so let's get started. We're going to start by boiling the water in the microwave because in fed prison we actually have microwaves, you know, it's, we're a little higher end criminals. That was a joke, okay? A criminal is a criminal. <laughs> All right, second, the Fritos, we gotta start crushing them to the point where they're almost like dust. Nothing but time in there, so don't worry about it. We got all day to do this. I opened this bag last night because I had to eat some. <laughs> so, we're going to crush these. Crush them. We usually have, you know, uh, so usually when we do this in, in prison, it's, it's pretty much your crew who you're eating with. And what I mean is by your crew, it's black, more likely the, the gang that you roll with or who you sit with, you know, your, your crew. And everybody has a, a, a job assignment that day, you know, everybody has something to pitch in, you know. If I'm throwing in the Doritos and, you know, somebody's throwing in the chicken, somebody's throwing in... Because even the bags, you have to pay to get the bags. You have to pay to get the gloves, you have to get the, pay to get the butter out of the kitchen, and you have to pay to get the chicken. So everybody has something to do that day to make it, make it happen so everybody can sit down and enjoy a holiday. So let me finish breaking these up. Then when these are completely broken up, we're going to start deboning the chicken. And of course, they don't sell it like this in there. A chicken leg runs you anywhere from a dollar to three dollars depending on the day. If it's a non-chicken day, then you're going, to, you're going to pay about three dollars for the chicken. So, you know, it, it, um, it takes planning. It, it takes planning because you have to work with what you got. And uh, you're, it's one thing in there that they can't take away from you is actually sitting down and eating together with your crew. So, you know, um, let's get this shit done. So, we don't, we don't really have knives in there, so we use our IDs for everything in there. So, you know, that's what we do. We're gonna put the butter in the water. Probably not the healthiest, but you know. Who's looking for health in there, especially on Thanksgiving? So, put that there, let it melt a little bit, we'll put it back in the microwave. When that's done, we're gonna pour the water into the bag, we'll let it sit for about 20 30 minutes. And we'll start taking the chicken apart and then go from there. Alright, we're gonna start putting the water inside the bag. 
Let's sit for a while. You can't overdo it on the water. It's really easy to overdo it because then it turns into soup. You don't want it to turn into soup. You actually want it to, to soak all the water up. And you can fix it by throwing a little bit more, more in there. And this is pretty basic, like, you know, there was, there was a couple of guys in there that um, would go a little bit more out and, you know, would throw more, like, they would uh, pay the cooks to bring them, like, seasoning and, you know, stuff from, from the kitchen. So this will let sit. Let it sit in the sink. I wanted to make a mess. Um, like I said, there's guys in there that pay a little bit extra to bring like more seasonings and stuff from the kitchen. Um, I kept it pretty basic whenever I made stuff like this. You know, um, I wasn't hurting all the time. I mean, I hustled in there. I worked in the kitchen. I worked in the laundry. So you know, I had a little hustle. But um, I, I pretty much was basic just because something new always tastes better. So, you know, I, that's what I did. And um, it worked out fine for me, you know. Um, there was this guy that I used to eat all the time with. And um, he was from Chicago. He was my cellmate for a while. Uh, he, he was a big, big guy. And I, I'm going to tell a story later in, in one of my videos, but he actually had a heart attack while we were putting a puzzle together on our bed. So I'll tell you that story later, but he used to love to eat. And it's how we spent time, him and I, was just... Three. And remember, the tamales that we're making in prison were nearly not as big as the ones we see out here. So, <laughs> you know, um, this is actually a lot of chicken right here. <laughs> and this is the masa. Like I said, some people like to go all out. They'll buy Doritos, different flavors, you know, and put it in there and the butter gives it that that non-stick consistency you know once we put it into the bag and cook it but we're almost there all right now the fun part starts get the bag get a good one there we go all right, get the bag, bam. Put it in there. And remember, these are not gonna look as pretty as the ones outside, but <laughs> we work with what we got in there and it's just a blessing to be able to sit down with your crew and eat, you know. So, do that. Put a little bit of chicken in there. Some people like to put pickle and shit in there. Uh, a lot of people like to eat pickles in there. I don't know why, but I think it's just because it gives it come to come some kind of flavor. Squeeze it. Bam. 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 <laughs> And that's, that's one of your prison tamales right there. Okay, I'm gonna close it up. Close it up. All right, first one is done. All right, you use always this, the bag that you used on top because it already has butter on it, so it's ready to go. Grab a little bit more masa. Put it on there. Do them on top, same process. Try to even it out. 
Some people like to do it really thin. I used to like to make it a little bit thicker so I could enjoy the the chips and the, the chewiness, you know, chewing on stuff. So, put the chicken. Like that. We'll close it up. Alright, another one. The more you uh break down the Fritos like the more you uh, you crunch them the easier it is to work with them actually because uh, it, it turns into like a really really like easy masa to work with when you actually break them down pretty easy and like I said in there the tamales are not as big as the ones out here this is probably a regular looking one in there you know what I mean because remember it's usually a crew of guys eating all together, so there'd always be about 20 or 30 of us eating all together for these holidays. That's another one. Let's make one more before we start cooking them and show you the end process of this. All right, so we're done making the tamales. They're in the bag. Obviously in there we don't have plates like this, so we usually use a piece of cardboard. Um, or a back, back piece of a notebook and we put them in the microwave. So we'll let it sit in there for about two minutes and then we're ready to eat some prison tamales. All right, so after the microwave, let them cool down and this is your prison tamale. Right here. Still tastes so good.